What's up everybody, your paint coach here. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to properly prep your wall for paint. Um, and all we're gonna need to prep is our drop cloth, uh, extension pole, duster, putty knife, tape, screwdriver, and our sanding pole thingamajiggy with some 120 grit sandpaper. So we're just gonna jump right down to it. The first thing I did was lay out my drop cloth and now I'm going to dust off the baseboards to throw some tape on it. So what I like to do is dust off the baseboards first. And it's real simple, real quick. You just get your duster. See all this dust that's built up on the baseboard? We're just gonna take our duster and we're gonna dust that off as best we can. That way the tape properly sticks because you don't wanna tape on top of the dust. So we're just gonna go through real quick, dusting this off. You don't gotta get too crazy. Just get a nice, nice clean top of the baseboard. Get down in there. And this is what's gonna leave a real sharp line so we want our tape to stick really, really well. And any dust or anything like that is gonna get in the way and it's gonna cause our tape not to stick properly. So we're just gonna get that nice and dusted off, kinda of get this over here. Now we're just doing an accent wall today. So we'll, we'll worry about that stuff later. Okay, that's all dusted off. Now let's go to our tape. And I'm just using blue uh, painter's tape, frog tape. This works the best. And now what I really want to show you guys, because I've seen people do it like this, and this, there's no reason for it. I've seen people tape like that, and they tape the whole baseboard. You don't need to do that because nothing's going to be protecting this. What I want you to do, and I always tape a little bit on this wall just in case, just to keep any drops or anything like that. So I'll tape on this wall. I want to leave it up like that. All we're going to do is put a hood on it. And what we want to do is just use one long strip of tape. See that? I'm going to go about an arm's reach. And I'm going to start here in the corner. Get a nice cut. Get a nice tape line right there. And we're just going to do it right on top of the baseboard. This is my guide hand. And I'm just going to put it on top of the base like this. Just like that. And that's it. I'm going to not push it down on the baseboard. I want to leave it like this. I'm going to go there. Hold it down, do it again, right on top of that baseboard. It's going to make a nice, nice clean line. See, I could guide it, put it wherever I want, and this is my sticky hand. Nice, straight line, right there on top of the baseboard. You don't want to come up on the wall, because then you're going to see it when you, when you paint. So we just want to get it nice and straight, right on top of the baseboard, just like that. And then once I get towards the end, I can cut it off a little early, because I want to make sure I get real close in the corner, so there's that. Remember, you want to leave it up like that, because when the paint drops, this will catch it. If you put it down like that, there's nothing protecting this. So we want to leave that up. I'm just going to finish putting it in the corner here like that. And remember, I'm always going to come a little bit over on this wall just to be safe. And that's it. Now I'm going to get my screwdriver and I'm going to pop off these face plates. Just like that. We're just going to pop these bad boys off just like that. Then I'm going to take my duster and I'm just going to hit this because there's always going to be a bunch of dust and crap in there. So while we're brushing, we don't want to pick any of that up. Just like that. So we'll take those off. We'll take off any light switches that are on there. Um, so now that we're done with that, there's going to be no patching on this wall. Um, there's no nail holes, anything like that. It's a brand new wall. So now we want to use our pole sander adapter thingamajiggy. And we're going to take our 120 grit sandpaper. And we're just going to fold it hot dog style here. Fold your sheet of sandpaper in half. Just like that. We're going to take our putty knife. Slide it under here, give her a nice rip, just like that, okay? Then we're going to put it on top of each other, just like that, and then this is how you load it. So this thing, these little clips come up, so you're just going to put these nice and even, put it right there, and that closes right on top. See, that secures it. Let me pull it this way. Right on top. 
boom, now it's ready to go. See that? Now we're going to grab our extension pole, give it a little twist. Now this, you don't have to go crazy. All this is for is to get all this uh, like boogers off the wall, any dust, anything like that. So you don't have to go crazy. And what I do, I'll just start up in the corner like that, hit my edges. See that spider web right there and all that? This stuff just makes sure that we don't get anything underneath our paint. I like to do my edges as far as I can stand right here. Now that that area I know is done, then I can just hit it. And you can hit it like that. You can hit it up and down. Now you can see I'm not going too hard. I'm not pushing on it. You don't need to push real hard. You just let it glide. See? Just let it glide up and down. Just hit the wall real quick. It doesn't take a lot. So I know that area is done. Go a little farther here. And you can do it. There's no wrong or right way to do this. Just And look it. I'm not pushing on it. I'm just letting it glide. Just let it glide up and down the wall. That's all she needs right there. Just a little rub down. That's all. Nice and easy. Hit my edge right here at the end. Nice and easy. I'm not pushing. See, you're not trying to, you're not trying to do that. You're just nice and easy. Pull sand it real good. And this just makes for a really, really nice finish. Just like that. Done. And that is it. And now we are ready to paint. So let's go pour up our paint.